exciting stuff here this morning. It is um, because we are starting with our first guest. He's joining us today and he has gone from a gang member to millionaire once fighting on the streets of L.A. to running a billion dollar company. Yeah, so what do you do next? Well, you write a book about it, of course. Mm -hmm. Ryan Blair is the author of Nothing to Lose and Everything to Gain and he joins us live this morning and welcome to Sonoran Living Live. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is so exciting. I have just been engaged in conversation with yeah. you. So the the nothing to lose part of this book, yeah. what does that mean? Well, you know, it was a mindset that we feared the most where I grew up. A kid with nothing to lose is probably the worst, you know, worst detriment that society could have. And so, uh, but that was also the same mindset that I applied toward business. And that was part of the reason why I was able to build businesses so fast and successfully. And you've done it just crossing a billion dollars. Yeah, in we, revenue. Visalis, my company, did its first billion in cumulative revenue. Uh, we just passed that milestone, so it's been pretty cool. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. Let's go back to when you were growing up. You're, you're the youngest of six, yeah. and um, your, your dad basically left y'all, and you went from yeah. middle class to poverty, and that's how the whole gang thing started? Yeah, so I started in the middle class, and it's interesting because having gone through the, the recession, seeing so many middle class families torn apart by financial difficulties. When my dad disappeared, my mother was a homemaker, so we had no money, and next thing you know, we're living in poverty and you know having to struggle with having to change our entire life around because he disappeared. And, and you said someone took, uh, took interest in you. Well, I was when I was 17, so at 13 years old, from 13 to 17, I dropped out of high school and went to a continuation high school, uh, got involved in gangs, got involved in trouble. Are you in this picture here? Yeah, that's a picture the police actually took, not, not one I'm proud of, I don't know. Uh, Where I, are you in that picture? <laughs> I'm in the very back, that was a, that was a lineup. How, look how young you are. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, uh, that's what I share with people. A young boy who's 13 years old who doesn't have a male role model is going to find one one way or the other, mm -hmm. and generally it's not gonna be a good one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's why I'm so passionate about mentoring and giving back. Good for you. Yeah. I, I, I'm a I'm just so impressed by you and, and, and everything that you've overcome. You know, all those parents out there who are watching uh, this morning, whose child may be at the crossroads, yeah. uh, what are some warning signs that they can look for? What did you go through? I've interviewed so many parents yeah. who said, I never thought it would be my child. Yeah. Well, first, all kids are at risk. With technology and, you know, in today's society, every kid's at risk. doesn't matter what socioeconomic status you have. Secondly, you know, look at who they're hanging out with, uh, you know, and, and, you know, their friends and their peer group. and. You know, there's the old expression, birds of a feather mm -hmm. flock together. Mm -hmm. It'll show up in grades. It certainly did for mine. It'll show up in being, you know, I got suspended a number of times. So mm -hmm. the signs are there. It's just most parents tend to ignore them. Boy, I am just relating to everything you're yeah. saying. Mm -hmm. You know, two, two boys at, at my house, it, it was certainly a challenge. And I, I commend your yeah. mom for hanging in there because what she did is um, a, a man came into her, her life that took you yeah. under, her, or under his wing and he became your mentor. Yeah, well, when I, you know, the old proverb, when the student's ready, the teacher appears. I did not want to go to prison. You know, my family members had all, you know, been in trouble, gone to prison. Kids in my neighborhood killed people, got killed. You know, last thing that I wanted was that lifestyle. So I was ready. When he showed up, he was a, a real estate entrepreneur. And I said, you know, I want to be an entrepreneur. I couldn't be a doctor. I couldn't be a lawyer, but I could be an entrepreneur. And now I, I you know, gainfully employ a number of doctors and okay. far too many lawyers. And what is your business? <laughs> Tell us what you do. Uh, Vicellus is the uh, Body by Vi 90 day challenge. So it's the number one weight loss challenge uh, across North America. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's done, it's done quite well. And, and over a billion dollars in sales, I guess so. But along the way, you've made it, you've lost it, yeah. you've made it again. You know, knowing, knowing your background, what, you know, we, you either kind of have it in you or you don't. Yeah. You know, what is it do you think that keeps you going, that keeps your, keeps your drive driving? You know, entrepreneurship for me is like a sport. So, you know, it's, it's just a, it's a matter of keeping score and trying to do the best you can at the sport. And you have different standards and, you know, people that I look at, I look at, I mean, I've done nothing compared to a Mark Zuckerberg or a Bill Gates, right? So, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the sport of entrepreneurship, there's some pretty high standards to achieve. Mm -hmm. And you, says, you say here, have, have a nothing to lose attitude. Yeah. That's where it starts, right? Yeah, well, and, you know, I, I realize this, I would never go back to the poverty, to the mindset, you know, to the bad neighborhood that I lived in. So I took a lot of risk and, you know, the, as the expression goes, the, you know, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Mm -hmm. Most people won't risk their middle class lives or, you know, they won't, you know, take a risk and try to become an entrepreneur. So mm -hmm. that's one of the key messages. You know, you could start as an entrepreneur at any time. 
Absolutely. And when you just go for it, you yeah. have a whole different mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to lose, yeah. everything yeah. to gain. Yeah. All right, Ryan Blair, thank you yeah. so much. I thank know you. that you Best flew in from L.A. for us today, and you're also doing a book signing this afternoon at yeah. Barnes & Noble. Yeah, 12 o'clock. And uh, visiting a, a school and doing some mentoring himself. So way to give back. By the way, all of the money um, is going to charity. So, yeah. uh, oh, that's great. Yeah, it's a great read. So thanks very much, Ryan. Thank you. All, all right. the best to you. Thanks.